What's up, world? And welcome back to another episode of Tajin Film Show Reviews. It's been a while. Did you miss me? I miss myself. Today, I'll be reviewing another original film from our friends over at Netflix called Bandersnatch. As many of you may know, Bandersnatch is affiliated with the hit series Black Mirror. Though it's not an episode in the series, it's a one-off film. The biggest draw for this film is that it was Netflix's first interactive film, meaning we, the viewer, get to decide the actions of the actors on screen. Fascinating, I know. Bandersnatch is written by Charlie Booker, directed by David Slade, and stars Fionn Whitehead, Craig Parkinson, Alison Lowe, Asim Chaudhry, Will Poulter, and Tallulah Haddon. So here's the gist. In 1984, a young programmer begins to question reality as he works to adapt a fantasy novel into a video game. Fascinating. The 80s. People love the 80s. I'm an 80s baby. As I mentioned, this was Netflix's first interactive film, and I loved it. I usually enjoy Netflix through my Apple TV, which unfortunately was not a compatible device, so I had to wipe the dust off my Xbox and stream it there, but it worked, and I'm glad I did. I thought the film was incredible, but the interactive feature simply put it over the top, and for me, it was great, and thus, there won't be any spoilers. I do want to take a moment to talk about the tech that went into making this episode possible. Actually, I have no idea how they did it, but I loved it. They have some really smart people at Netflix figuring this stuff out. So, during the film, at several key and not so key moments, the screen gets a little darker, my Xbox controller begins to vibrate, and I'm left with the power to decide what action the actors on screen should take. An added element to this experience was the fact that I was surrounded by friends who all had their own opinion on what we should do. Sometimes I listened, sometimes I didn't. Anyways, I got the power. And I think someone put something in the hookah because I was tripping hard the whole time and I'm sure that added to the experience. Fun night to say the least. So again, let's just go ahead and hop straight into the review. You should watch it. It's great. Story. I give this story a four and a half. Amazing premise. The whole pick your own adventure concept stems from the book by which the film is named, so it was damn near perfect in my opinion. There are definitely multiple endings, which will take you a few tries to see each one. Also, like I said before, it takes place in the 80s, which for some reason is everyone's favorite decade. I mean, I'm an 80s baby, and I'm pretty much nothing short of perfection, so there's that. In all seriousness, though, I love the story and the way it can completely change based on a single decision. Bravo. Writing. I give the writing a four. Charlie Booker hits another home run with this Black Mirror film spin-off thing that I suppose still exists within the same universe. Also, if you haven't watched Black Mirror, what the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously, watch it. Top five series of all time. Acting, four and a half. Truly fantastic performances across the board from start to finish. My personal favorite has to be Will Poulter. You'll recognize him as a kid who nailed the Waterfalls verse in We're the Millers. This was certainly not a comedy and thus shows his versatility as an actor. Cinematography, I give it a four. I thought it was beautifully shot and truly captured the essence of the era, the story, and the world in which it takes place. Directing, I also give it a four. Great story, solid script, fantastic performances with a variety of holy shit, I didn't see that coming endings makes this film come together on all fronts. I was a fan and whoever didn't like this film, just don't be friends with them. Overall, I give it a four and a half. Fantastic for an at-home watch and it will certainly make you think about a lot of things. My high rating stems from the interactive features. To be frank, without it, I would have given it somewhere between that three and a half, four mark, but the technology and the experience is what takes it over the top. I loved it. So there you have it. Another film, another review. Be sure to click that like and subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching another episode of Tajin Film Show Reviews. Watch this trailer. Vivid dreams, like thinking weird things. What sorts of things? We're gonna be a hit factory, like Motel, but for computer games. You heard it here first. I understand. It's an adventure game based on the book. Jerome F. Davies was a genius. See that bloke who went cuckoo and cut his wife's head off? When it's a concept piece, a bit of madness is what you need. Voices, but there is something. 
Bertrand van der Sand was the final straw. And lets you see the bigger picture. Stefan, you're worrying me. Leave Stefan out of this. Leave Stefan. Your fate has been dictated. You're not in control.